Hey Kit Kats, welcome back to Tawny Plays. Um, so today, as you can see, we are going to be starting Happy Home Designer. Um, I've actually never played this game, so it's going to be interesting to see what it's all about. I'm kind of excited because um, I've heard good and bad things about Happy Home Designer. So I thought we would take this day to actually look into it and see how it is. All right, here we go. Let's start. Oh, look at them all in their little office. Today is the day our new employee arrives. Yes, yes. The new addition should be here at any moment, so I shall use this time to double check the hiring forms. Hmm. Now where have those hiring forms gotten themselves off to? I'm certain they were right here. Pardon me, Lottie. Perhaps you know. Do you remember the new hire's name? What? You don't remember? Please, Mr. Nook, try to keep it together. If I recall correctly, the name was... And we get to put in our input our name. And obviously, I'm going to be putting in Tawny. Yes, that's it. I'm sure of it. The new hire's name is Tawny, right? Right. Honestly, Mr. Nook, you really need to keep better track of these things. Oh ho, I certainly blanked out on that name for a moment. And it's such a nice name, too. Oh, thank you, Nook. A rare moment of forgetfulness for me. I'm sure it won't happen again. Now, from what I recall, this new employee happens to be... Hmm, a boy or a girl. I'm gonna go with girl. But I am certain she's a girl. Yes. Yes, yes, she is a girl, of course. Whew, sorry guys, I just woke up a little while ago and I thought this would be the perfect time because I thought I wasn't yawning enough. <laughs> now, if only I could remember what she looks like. Oh, sweet. We get to uh, create our own character. I always like those eyes. Blue. Do you want gray? Yeah, blue. And I am a pale... MFR. Um, let's go with that hairstyle. It's the ponytail in the back. Um, and I'm gonna go with hmm, purple or pink, guys. Purple or pink. Um, hmm. Ooh, we're green. Let's see. Oh, you rotate. Huh. Or blue. Dark yellow. Dark blue. Red. Light red. Light brown. Dark brown. Ooh. I am so sorry, guys. Light black. Dark black. Gray. White. I think I'm gonna go with purple. I think that seems the best. Yeah, I'm gonna go with purple. Let's see. Double check. Everything's good. Do you think? Uh. Uh. I like those eyes. All right. Confirm. Of course, this is what she looks like, yes? Yes. Ah, I remember her perfectly now. There's no forgetting a person like Tawny. Apparently. <laughs> ah, good morning, Tawny. Welcome to Nook's Homes. Come in, allow me to introduce you to everyone. Yes, yes? Oh, 
everyone, this is Tawny. Starting today, she will be working with us here at Nook's Homes. Perhaps I should give you a quick introduction to each of your new colleagues, hmm? This fellow here is Lyle. Bang! Nice to meet you, Tawny. I always imagine him with like an Emerald Lagasse kind of uh, attitude and um, personality. That's the one I was looking for. If y'all don't know Emerald Lagasse, like y'all need to go look up some of his old shows because he's fantastic. He's from New Orleans, so he's full of personality. Um, so anyway, Lyle is something of a veteran in the office. He's been here almost as long as I have. In fact, he's so good at what he does, even I don't quite understand what he's doing most of the time. Haha, -ha, I'm kidding. Of course I know how everything works. Ooh. Now then, next is our dog about town, Digby. Nice to meet you. My name's Digby. It's a real pleasure to have you working here with us, Tawny. I hope we will get, to chan get a chance to work together on a project really soon. Digby is certainly one of our most enthusiastic employees, as you may have gathered. Finally, let me introduce Lottie. Ahem, <clears throat> Lottie? Yes? Oh, hi there! Lottie is an exceptional employee and a consummate professional. She is also an expert in home design. Lottie will be handling your training as well, so pay attention and follow her advice. As you all know, I'm a very busy raccoon, so that wraps up today's meeting. Lottie, she's all yours. Goodbye, my obedient employees. Busy, busy. Oh, so busy. <laughs> oh, Tom Nook. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. I need to go get, like, some tea or something. Because I am super tired. I cannot stop yawning. That boss of ours, he likes to complain about his busy schedule. Even though we all know he's just rushing off to make his tea time. Ha. <laughs> well, enough about golf. Let's get you settled in. We're so glad you joined the company, Tawny. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about the work you'll be doing at Nook's Homes. So let's get to it. To start, I want you to do a simple interior remodel on a client's home. You'll pick out new wallpaper, a new carpet, some new furniture. Basically, you're going to give the room a complete makeover. There's a practice room all ready for you. I'll come along and teach you the basics. But before we get started, you should take this. There's a changing room upstairs, so head on up and change into your official uniform, Tawny. I'll be waiting right here. Come and get me when you're ready. Let's go get into our uniform. <laughs> That's cute. So, I know you can't see the bottom screen, but like, in Animal Crossing, you normally have like the like what's in your pockets thing, but you don't have that right now. Again. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Lottie again. A perfect fit. Mr. Looks Nook likes to see his employees wear the company uniform, so make sure you wear it tomorrow too. Of course, you can accessorize your uniform however you like. Use the changing room for that. Are you ready to learn all about interior design? Great, let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, that's an empty room. All right, your training is officially underway. By the way, this is a real home you're working on, so take good care of the place. The client who lives here is a girl who is a fan of all things cute. She requested a room with a lovely atmosphere. So let's turn this empty space into something lovely, shall we? First, let's see what's inside that cardboard box over there. Open it up. Just tap the rectangular block on the touchscreen. 
Good job. That lovely seat is actually one of the client's most prized possessions. You'll find clients often have pieces they're very attracted to. They love it when you incorporate the, their pieces into your design, so be sure to do so. Of course, you can't just plop furniture down in any old way and expect that to work. So let me explain how to change a piece of furniture's orientation. Do that, tap the block on the touchscreen, just like you did before. Go ahead and give it a try. Yay, I turned it. <laughs> Great, you're a fast learner, just like that. Oh, I like that. Next up, let's talk about how to move things. It's a cinch, just drag the block to the touchscreen to wherever you want to place it. It's, your first, it's time for your first big decision. Where do you want to put that lovely seat? Um, I think I'll put it over here in front of the window. Yes, just like that. Now you know how to place and orient furniture just like a pro. Which you are, of course. But this room is going to need, a need more than a single love seat before we can call it done. Tap the leaf on the touch screen to open the furniture catalog and select more items. Find a piece of furniture you like, tap it to select it, and then put it someplace. Easy peasy. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Do that. There you go. And that's how you choose furniture to suit your client's tastes. Furniture isn't the only tool in the home designer's toolkit. Wall decorations are also important. Explore your options with the clipboard icon, it looks like. And pick out something snazzy. Hold on, I want to move this. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I like that Sakura. Uh, clock. A bold choice. I like it. It's amazing for me to see how much different designers have style. Have such different senses of style. I can't read today. I am sorry, guys. Almost forgot about wallpaper and flooring. Those are two crucial elements of home design, in case y'all didn't know. Open the wallpaper and flooring catalog using the house and choose something you like. Once you make your choice, press B or tap the go back button on the top right of the screen to close the catalog. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. No, that's too fancy. I think it's gonna either be this rosy wall or this polka dot wall. I think the rosy wall goes better. Hmm. Let's do a light floor. Or... Yeah. To the neutral floor, because that looks good. Look at that. Do you see how you can change the room's atmosphere by changing the walls and floors? Now let's place a rug to complete the room's design. It's like the cherry on top of a sundae. Tap the rug icon to open the rug catalog and pick out a rug that's right size and style for your vision. You, my dear, are a natural at home design. Amazing. Now to round out the training, why don't you go ahead and place any furniture you like. Feel free to take another look at a client's request whenever you want to tap. Whenever you want by tapping the clipboard on the touch screen. Also, if you ever want to get rid of furniture already placed, just drag that item to the trash can. Oh, and there's one more thing. You can use the D-pad to change your point of view and look around the room. I'm sure you'll get some new ideas when you change your perspective, so try different angles. Alright, Tawny. Now, you can go about designing this room however you like. Play the part. I'll play the part of the client here, so come and talk to me when you think you're done. Okay, I'll be waiting. Alright. Um... Don't think that rug actually goes, so... Hmm. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Um, let's go to furniture. Mm. 
Hmm? Hmm. Let's see if we can put... this here. Turn it around a little bit. And then we need some sort of like... Ooh, that kitchen. looking so far pretty good pretty good um, let's see what else we can do here hmm oh plants there and I think we're good all right how does that look guys I think that looks great so I will move this cherry blossom clock over to the side all right let's see how that looks oh are you done already all done. Excellent. Seems you've done a fairly decent job. Let's take a closer look, shall we? An utterly charming room. I guess I'm supposed to take pictures. <laughs> oh wow, look at this place. I can't believe I get to live in such a lovely room. Thank you so much. Oh, did I forget to mention that this is actually my house? I just bought the place, but work has kept me so busy that I haven't had time to decorate. I'll tell you the truth. I've been cuddling up in a sleeping bag on the bare floor. Ridiculous, right? But it looks like a little help from a promising new designer was just what I needed. I'll be sure to let the boss know you passed your training with flying colors. Now then, I think it's time to head back to the office. Let's go! Be honest, did you love your first day on the job? You did really well. I bet you loved it. But you can be upfront with me if you didn't love the job. What I want to know is can you handle it? I was born to do this. Just as I thought, you really are the right person for the job. I'm glad to hear you think so too. As a matter of fact, I was really impressed with the room you decorated for me today. We guarantee satisfaction here at Nook Homes, so I had to make sure you were up to snuff. In a perfect world, I'd have a few more months to train you properly, but I can't hold you back forever. We have a client scheduled to come in tomorrow morning to talk about an interior remodel request. I'm going to let you take on that as your first real customer job. You've got a big day tomorrow, so you can head home, but you have to write a daily report first. Let me show you to your desk. It's right over here. Yay, we get our own desk. That's exciting. <laughs> Your desk and chair are back here on the left, so take a seat and write your daily report. You need to write up a report every day when you're finished with your work. It's the little details like this that keep Nook's homes running like a well-oiled machine. Chug chug! <laughs> Thanks for all your hard work today, Tiger. Keep it up. What's a daily report? 
sit down at your desk to write up your daily report and save that day's work. Business hours are over, but you can keep playing, uh, working. <laughs> After sele saving, select continue to move on to the next day's work, or select quit to stop playing. All right. So I'm going to write my daily report and see what's going on. Yes. Always want to help improve Nintendo because they're awesome. Ooh, I got a compact car. All right, guys. Well, I think that was a nice little introduction to the game. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed that. So if y'all enjoyed it and would like to see more, like please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, I've actually been thinking about restarting my town of Mistle just because it's been like, I'm in April of 2018 and I would like to really keep up with it um, this year. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I would really like to try and keep up with it this year. So let me know if that's what y'all want me to do and I will do that. Um, I will think about having a new town name, um, coming up with a new one just so that way see how that goes um because i'm really excited about the animal crossing for the switch which i'm going to try and figure out how to get my um switch to broadcast to my computer so i can uh play on that and like actually broadcast it and stuff so all right guys well i will see y'all later have a great day